Hey guys. hey guys, I want to wish you guys congratulations on your wedding. We wish we could be there for you in Mongolia like you were there for us in Turks. So for now, I uh, just want to wish you congratulations. We love you and we'll see you when you get back. Love you. Love you. Bye guys. Oh, and congratulations, congratulations from, from the, the wins. Billy and Steve, we're sorry that we couldn't be there on your special day, but we're wishing you unending love and happiness today. And we can't wait to celebrate with you when you return home. We love you. Have fun, guys. Kisses. 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 <laughs> Steve and Billy, we're sorry that we can't be there with you on your special day. Um, Steve, Billy reached out to us and asked us to send along some memories and some well wishes to you since we couldn't be there in person. Um, I'd love to tell you that we were going to hit pause on this and we're going to walk out from behind some curtain and I'll be there in person. And guess what? Ain't happening. Can't happen. No, just kidding. No, we, we, we really want We're it. all literally uh, in our houses. <laughs> yeah. And we're probably asleep because I think it's 2 a.m. where we are. But uh, this was recorded a few days ago and uh, we wanted to take a little bit of time just to <clears throat> tell you how happy we are for you and, and share a little bit of uh, stories and advice for you. So, Katie, go ahead. Well, like Dave said, congratulations, you guys. We're so happy for you. Um, you know, Steve and I have been friends since freshman year of high school, but we really became close senior year. Um, and we've just been best friends ever since. He was my prom date, um, but Steve was awesome. We had the best time, best prom date I could have ever asked for. He was also the officiant at my wedding. You know, Steve has been through a lot in all of our lives, in my life. And we're so excited to celebrate that when we can see you guys next time. I know we all just get really busy, but just know that I love you. We love you. We're so happy, so happy for you guys. Um, <clears throat> best marriage advice I can give is, you know, be best friends, have fun, support each other, you know, when things get a little rocky and listen to each other. <laughs> Listening is really going to be key and just understanding each other. Um, so like I said, I love you guys. Billy, welcome to the crew. We love you. We're so happy to have you with us and have fun. Right. I really wish I could make it to Mongolia for a couple of reasons. First off, there's, there's very few times where you get to tell your wife, hey, I'm going to Mongolia and she can't say no. Uh, and this would have been one of them. Um, that would have been pretty cool too. Uh, Steve and, and Dave here were in my bridal party. And uh, before I even got up there to say my vows, these two guys were drunk in the line making jokes as we were say, saying our vows. And I think I owe them a, a little bit of payback and I don't get to have that chance. Uh, but but three, um, three is where it matters. Uh, Steve's family. Um, when my dad passed away, I was able to reach out to Dave. He was close. I was able to reach out to, to Katie because she lives around the corner because um, it was a quick thing. Uh, and it didn't even dawn on me that, you know, hey, I got I to gotta reach out to Steve and let him know. Um, but when I pulled up you know, to the funeral, Steve was there. Um, he knew he had to be uh, because he's family. Uh, and, and that's what Everybody in that room who's related to Billy, who's, who's related to Steve, if there's anybody there for Steve uh, besides us, um, that's who you pick up. You pick up family with Steve. Um, he's going to be there for you, Billy. He, he's dedicated. Um, there's, there's not much else we can say about that. Uh, and Billy, we've, we've got to meet a couple of times, but um, you, every time you've been around, you've been wonderful. Um, we're excited to get to know you more. We're family. We're all born to different people. We've all met each other at different phases in our lives, but uh, there's nothing you can reach out to us for. And Steve's there. He's always going to be there for you. So uh, my best words of advice for, for being married, I have seven years behind my belt now. Um, endure the fights. They're worth it. And two, just keep on doing what you're doing. Don't go at anybody else's pace. Go at your own. Figure out what you're doing. And, and that's all that really matters. All right. Uh, so Steve and I first became friends in middle school. Um, we were all on instant messenger back then. And I had a friend quiz on my profile and Steve took it and he aced it. And he was the only one that did that. And Steve and I knew each other, but we weren't very close then. 
Uh, and we said, hey, I guess we need to be best friends now. Uh, and somehow that blossomed into a, a best friendship. Um, and it's crazy to me, like Katie and Ryan said, that all of us now have been best friends with each other since we were probably about 17 years old, um, which is over half of our lives ago. Uh, so we're all looking pretty good. Steve, you look great today. Uh, I, I can't see you, but uh, I don't know that I've ever seen Steve, at least post-college Steve, uh, look anything less than dapper. So, so Steve, I'm sure you look great today. Billy, I have no doubt that you look gorgeous as well uh, and that you're all having a fantastic time over there. Um, so like Ryan and Katie both said, a uh, little, little marriage advice. Uh, you know, I, I have almost 11 years uh, under my belt now. Um, and, you know, we've all been in each other's weddings. Uh, I'm not going to try to replicate or even come close to the best man speech that Ryan and Steve gave at my wedding. So I'm just going to go straight to the advice. And my advice is similar to everybody else's and it's communicate, always communicate with your spouse and don't be afraid to. Um, like Katie said, listen, <laughs> like Ryan said, you might, you might butt heads, uh, at some point, but, uh, and, and you should, uh, we're all different people, but knowing what the other person wants and knowing how the two of you are going to get there as a couple, uh, as a family, if you expand at some point, uh, then that's, that's really the most important thing. And speaking of family, Billy, welcome to the family. Uh, Steve, my brother, I'm so happy for you. I love you. And uh, again, sorry that we couldn't be there, but uh, hopefully this brought a little smile to your face and we're looking forward to seeing you when you get back. 